G'day. So, Airfix is a Walrus uh, Mark 1. This is their most recent boxing of the kit. I don't know if it's, they've done it two or three times now. I did have one, but I, oh, I don't know why they put their art uh, upside down. Uh, I did have one, but I sold it off. But I repurchased this one because it's got the Australian scheme in the box. But I think one of the other ones might have had an Australian scheme as well. But anyway, so you've got uh, yeah, three to choose from by the looks of it. Alrighty. <coughs> The new darker grey plastic, but I still haven't learnt to individual bag. Mount. Okay, okay. Alright. So you're starting with the hull on the bottom. Uh, and we got, and you're doing the bulkheads and some of the floor section by the looks of it on the interior. Um, yeah, so working on the interior still, all the seating and that going in. Bulkheads, uh, <clears throat> I do like how they do highlight previous steps in red so you keeps you in track of where you're at, what's going on. Uh, <clears throat> so removing that piece there by the looks of it. No, yes. Okay, so I'm showing you how it should look when you remove that the green, highlighted green piece. Windows going in from the inside so yeah, make sure you mask them up and <coughs> we really start spraying and you got some holes being drilled in oh, yeah, sideways so you got the bottom of the hull and then you got the side walls coming in hull fuselage I think it's a hull because it's a flying boat isn't it Anyway, so you got the sides coming onto the bottom, and then the roof going in. Uh, <clears throat> so you got the nose section. Uh, so parts for the interior of the nose section. And I'm guessing we will flip that over here, and then it sits on the front. Uh, winch system inside there, rope on it, and then we're on the rear here, I think. But look at it, is that the rear of it? Yeah, the tail wheel section. So, the usual if you're going on the carriage now, on the carriage up. They'll tell you which steps to go to. Now the engine going together. Oh, they're telling you it's off axis three degrees by the looks of it. So, having said that, it should plug into those spots anyway, and that should be the correct alignment. Or am I missing something? Uh, rear stabiliser going on and the uh, cabane's supports for it and the uh, control surfaces and then also you'll be do you want the wings extended, locked open or folded back it's sort of this is one of those ones when it's folded up, it, it makes it compact, but I think you're missing uh, a lot of seeing a lot of the detail. 
but that's just obviously that's a personal preference that we could do that what I do a lot is one open one closed uh, right so again they're showing you which you're doing the wheels up down uh, outer wing floats going on together and on and then the radial engine being built uh, armament if you so wish it looks like you got some small bombs or choices bombs or these what would they be small death charges I don't know what they are I'm just guessing Uh, machine gun on the nose or you can have the uh, nose closed up with the hatch on it and same as the rear you can have the hatch open or closed but it's still got a window you can see inside uh, the guns on the back and <coughs> excuse me and your propeller going together and then the canopy windscreen section which is in uh, what we got going on here? Looks like there's two options. So one, the whole single piece, or two pieces with no roof section there. I think. I'll have a look in a minute. When we get to the sprues, and then here you are at your folded wing options. So you need to remove some plastic. And wing lights will vary for the which scheme you're doing as well by the looks of it and that's all wings back so it does look quite definitely be better for your display cabinet but I don't know, it looks a bit funny to me this one when the wings back and there you are with how it looks wings out or wings folded I think I would put this one in a ocean uh, display like I did with the duck I built if I was doing it which I hope to all right decals as usual they all look all right um, not much going on with the instrument panel All right, so what do we got here? Uh, your rigging. Give that a minute. So you got a diagram for the rigging. The hours of fun. Uh, I believe someone mentioned to me on my channel that you can get an aftermarket rigging set, which might be the way to go for this because it looks quite full on there. Alrighty, and while we're here, we'll look at the best scheme in the box, Royal Australian Air Force. Uh, so it's based in, well it was both Australia and New Guinea, early 43. Oh, I'll go with my war walk I'm building in New Guinea, except they're wrong scale, different scales. And as usual, they uh, Humbrol paint callouts. But, uh, yeah. Those of you, well, it's all over the world now, I think. SMS Whackers, Scott from there, he does all the Aussie colours and he does uh, nice RAF Sky Blue. Alright, we have the uh, 700 Naval Air Squadron HMS Sheffield 41. Which is also a nice scheme, I like the British uh, naval based aircraft. Be careful, I can sort of say things right, I'm going to get criticised. Uh, 276 Squadron, Royal Air Force, Harabir, Devon, England, 44. So, pretty much similar, same. This one's got a scallop. 
demarcation between the sky and the top and this one's just a straight line demarcation line but the top should be slate grey and dark grey yes I think so it's I got it mentioned twice there, I don't know what that's about. But it is a nice scheme. Alright, as usual, I've given a bag that could fit my 148 SL70 in. Come on, AFX, start doing better with the bagging. Be like Trumpeter and Hobby Boss. Alright, hopefully it's not scratched because it floats around in the larger bag. Okay, so there's the two options. So you have the closed up one piece and the other one has an open side uh, window and there's nothing on top. I don't quite understand that. Should there not be a piece that opens up on top? I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something there. <clears throat> right. So, let's see if there's any other surprises. Oh, I'd like some short shots. It's got plenty of uh, rivet detail on this one. shit ton of injection pin marks inside though <laughs> holy dooly mm. <clears throat> frog in my throat every time I want to bloody record oh, engine so you got the two halves of the radial Some of the bulkheads here and the seats. It looks good except for those ejection pin marks. Man, why so many? Uh, so all your cabanes, or struts, whatever you want to call them. Wheels, we got weight on wheels or not. Uh, <clears throat> two size bombs There's a couple of <clears throat> little ejection pin marks on that I think that's for the wheels I think uh, it should be on the inside so hopefully it's uh, well you can't see it but it's there easy enough to clean up. I like the fuselage out there. I think I'd be going with the closed up option with all those ejection pin marks inside. Short shots yet? I'm doing good. The interior detail for the inside there, which should be that be. bit of fabric or ribbing showing through the fabric 
slightly. Oh, all right, there it is. So I shall add some still photos now. Thanks for watching.